picking up those gains from yesterday. Friday, we are seeing the losses on the Australian market accelerating. We're currently down by 0.9%. And if we have a look at what's driving the market, it is that Moody's downgrade weighing on the market. We've seen Moody's come out and downgrading the likes of Italy, Spain, Portugal, as well as Slo Slovakia, Slovenia and Malta. And it's put on negative watch the UK, Austria, as well as France. So unsurprising to see the growth sectors on our market being sold off today. The materials and the financial sector is the biggest drag. Although one stock which is bucking the trend in that material space is Fortescue, continuing to gain today up 2.5% after its 5% gain on the back of some takeover speculation. But investors really moving into those defensive areas today and that's been good news for the consumer staples as well as uh, the consumer staples as well as the telecom area. Later on in the week of course it's going to be banks that take the spotlight. Tomorrow we're going to hear from CBA coming up with its half year result and today we've seen NAB the last of the big four banks to move on interest rates. The big four banks have all now moved independently of an RBA decision. We've seen NAB move by nine basis points to 7.31 percent. It is it still has a lower standard variable rate but the bank's coming under a bit of pressure today after some strong gains yesterday. Just on that Fortescue uh, rise there that you mentioned, this takeover speculation or uh, certainly uh, stake buying that, that is perhaps going on here, uh, what, what are you hearing with Fortescue? I mean an 8% jump in the share price since the start of trade yesterday. Speculation is that Tech Resources, which is Canada's largest diversified company, is behind some buying in Fortescue stock, about 2.9%. And the speculation comes after Tech Resources uh, has said that it has spent just over $400 million in uh, buying up investments. We have a look at Tech Resources. It has a market capitalization of about $23 billion. So it's probably not looking at a full takeover of Fortescue, but looking to uh, gain a foothold into Fortescue share register. If we have a look at tech resources, its profit growth has been driven by metallurgical coal and it's been quite a while where it has said that it would like to add to its diversified mining portfolio by adding iron ore. If we have a look at Fortescue, I mean this is a strong growth stock looking to increased production in the Pilbara region from 55 million tonnes per annum to 95 million tonnes per annum and then also up to 155 million tonnes per annum. And it is a relatively attractive place to be in. If we have a look at cash costs, it's about $50 a tonne for iron ore, whereas the selling price at the moment is about $142. So Fortescue up by 5% yesterday, gaining another 2.5% today. The market's speculating that tech resources may continue to build a stake in Fortescue.